Hi guys, um, there has been an energy shift, so I wanted to do a quick update for a collective. Um, I don't know if you're feeling it yet or not. It's feeling a lot like spring. It is feeling like Valentine's Day. Um, it is Valentine's Day with you and another and your loved ones. Valentine's Day for you and yourself. It feels like forgiveness. And I just had a bunch drop. Well, I'll show you what it opened up to on me. There we go. The chariot and renewal. An important achievement, self-discipline and root and willpower, public recognition. Chariot is all of, number seven, all about moving forward because of the work that you've put in. Renewal, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. It is time to move in a new direction. Many, many, many people have been stuck. Um, and energy is shifting. It's time to move forward now. It's time to move forward. It is time to say I'm sorry to yourself, to others. It is time to forgive yourself and others. Huge, huge lifting of energy. The heavy energies are just lifting and we're preparing to move forward now, quickly. And as I was sitting down and getting in tune with the collective, um, I must have put my leg on a bee and I got stung. If you're not careful, if you do things out of pure haste, if you're not looking where you're stepping, this does not mean to not move forward, but if you're not looking where you're going, you could very well get stung. If you do things out of pure emotion, um, you're going to get stung. Okay. Ooh, two more, another two major arcanas. Two, what? The last two were major arcanas. Told you, big energies. The magician. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. And the hermit. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teachings, and self-discovery. If you've been in hermit mode, you know it's time to come out now. If you've not been in hermit mode, it's time to go into hermit mode. Self-discovery. Why are you doing what you do? Why do you say what you say? Why do you react the way you react? Right? The hermit is all about self-discovery. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Yes. We got two more. Oh, seven and eight of earth. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school new direction right seven of earth seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry if you have been working on manifesting it is now time to reap those rewards if you have not it is time to start double down don't feel as though you're stagnant and stuck things are moving forward and it's a little humid, so I'm glistening. All right, let's see if the fairy deck has anything. Ooh. I feel many, many people are going to finally be coming to uh, terms with the past. And this could be last week, but more importantly, it's long past. Long past. It could be years. It could be... 40 years, 40 years ago, you know, um, finally releasing themselves from the pain and the heartache. I feel many couples are going to be doing that. They're going to be releasing themselves from the pain and the heartache, either by releasing themselves or by forgiving one another and forgiving themselves. Three of winter, reach, if you are in this where you are Finally, starting to look at the past and say, this has been holding me back. This heartache, 
sorry, I still have this heartache from a long time ago. This person cheated on me. This person lied to me. This person left me. It's time to release it and move forward now. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal in time. It will only heal if you're willing to see it. And then on the bottom we have plan your next, oh sorry, three of spring. Plan your next step with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Do not stop what you've been doing. If you've been working on something, continue to work on it. Do not get lazy. Do not think it'll coast. No, no, keep going. Have patience. There's more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done, but it's not done yet. Okay, you've done well, but it's not done yet. Under that, we have Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love. The beginning of new intimate relationships or rebirth of a current one. The awakening of, of psychic and spiritual abilities. I'm telling you, more major arcana. Well, that was an ace. And then under that we have the dreamer, the fool. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. That has been huge lately. Uh, two of summer falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone that could very well be yourself forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up it also says your relationship can be healed that is with yourself your relationship with yourself don't give up on yourself a lot of <coughs> excuse me a lot of people are coming to feel their own self again. They're coming to feel as though they are coming back to themselves. They are finding themselves. We're gonna, let's see, what should we do? Yeah, as a collective, I'm gonna pull three cards out of the uh, Sacred Traveler. This is gonna be real short. I gotta go home and put some ointment on my leg. Actually, it doesn't hurt so bad anymore. It's welting up, though. Where are we going as a collective? Where are we going? Crossing bridges. Absolutely. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Could not have said it any better. This is exactly what I'm feeling. I'm going to read that one more time. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Cleansing water. Purification activates vibrant life force. This will purify your energy, releasing, mending, healing. Re yeah, it will help to purify your energy. It will help cleanse you so that you can move forward. Last one. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. You are not doing this alone. You are not doing this alone. And on the bottom of the deck, infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. This is why, so that you can move into abundance, so that you can have what you truly want. When your heart and your mind finally figure out what it is that it wants, that's when you come into aligning, alignment. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Opening your, your heart chakra. And under that, begin now. Take your first step. If you have a relationship to mend, if you have an, an I'm sorry to give, if you have forgiveness to give to someone, it's time. But more importantly, it's time to forgive yourself. It's time to move on. It's time to come out of the past. If you're in a relationship, you're not supported, you're not valued, you don't feel strong. You don't feel loved. 
have the courage to move forward. Okay, we're gonna do one for each sign. One for each sign. What should each sign focus on for the rest of August, please? Well, you know what? Not for the rest of August. This is a huge energy. All those major arcanas, too. What should, what should all the signs focus on? One for each, please. Thank you. Aries, it is time for Grape Jelly Dragon to be more childlike. Embrace your child inside you. Don't be so serious. You've been very pent up, Aries. Taurus, Squash Dragon, opinions. What is your opinion? Where do you put your value on things? Gemini, Spinach Dragon, strength. You have the strength to do this. You have the strength to overcome. Gemini, Cancer, Corn Dragon, friends. You do have people around you that want to help you, that are there for you, but you need to reach out. Starfruit Dragon, oh, Leo, Starfruit Dragon, moderation. Leo, it's time to put your ducks in a row. Time to moderate your behavior. That's not just with tangible, that's your thoughts as well. Cantaloupe Dragon for Virgo. Realign. Matter of fact, Virgo's reading is when you're in alignment. Realign, Virgo. It's time to realign. Come back. Come back to yourself. Cranberry Dragon is for Libra. Prosperity. It's time to reap everything that you have sown. Big things are coming in for, for, for Libra if you've been putting in the work. Scorpio, renewal. It's time to be reborn. Poor Scorpio, always tearing down the old. It's time to move forward and do that now. Sagittarius, ha, asparagus dragon, consistent. It's time for you to be consistent in something and keep it up. Do not stop. I feel a, um, a big scheduling shift for you. Be consistent in it. Uh, Capricorn, peanut butter dragon, companion. Are you being the companion to another that you should be? Are they being companion to you that you need? Are you being the companion to yourself without looking to others to fulfill you? Aquarius, zucchini dragon, diversify. Aquarius, it's time to get out of your head and past your own little bubble. It's time to move out of your own little bubble. We've been talking about this for a few weeks now. And Pisces, coffee dragon, energy. Put your energy to good use. You know how to direct it. You've learned over this year the magic that can come when you focus your energy, how to transmute it. Okay, and on the bottom for the collective, we have Peapod Dragon Organize. It is time to get organized. Along with goals, Blueberry Dragon. Get organized and set your goals, guys. It is time to move forward into the future. We are no longer hanging back in the past. And if you do not, if you do not do this, you will get stung. It's time to get out there and say, I'm not going to let this stop me. I will move forward. I, I, I know what I want to be happy. If I don't know what I want to be happy, I am on a goal to go get it. Okay, guys, you have a great week. I will see you soon. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao. Bye.